Welcome back Mushroom Legacy to another video in my channel. So today we're gonna review into the last last day of this Pira Planter. We're gonna have a full review into my ACR which is All Cup Ranking. And then we're gonna review the entire decision I made this tour for investment. So starting off with the uh, play level we started I think with 164. Uh, the store for right now we are 169 so pretty okay uh five or four to five level so it's quite nice uh to gain so we are definitely getting closer to 200. also if you're knowing if you don't know yet what is mushroom legacy so what we do is we play every single track ranking and other cups with daisy peach and rosalina so this is a very important uh this is very different than Anybody else will play this game. Uh, so if I, a driver is not into the top shelf, I need to use a middle shelf, even if I have top shelf covered. So um, if you like this type of cup, then make sure to try to subscribe to the channel because it's free and also like the button because this has helped the channel to grow and we are trying to get closer to 1000 subscriber. Thank you, do, uh, thanks if you do it. So uh, let's start in with all the uh, the scoring. So we go into my first week one ranking. So we did quite a lot here. We did 88.1. So that was a victory on my end. Uh, we got the B suit and we're still waiting for the result for the uh, other um, week two. And other a good thing to mention is this tour we have grind. I don't know if you're gonna have the ACR badges, but this tour, the Mushroom Legacy, have a new highest score, which I will never thinking I will actually get. So um, I use a spreadsheet, and into the spreadsheet, it show you like if you with every glider, cart, and uh, uh, gliders tickets everything it shows if you put like, your load out into the spreadsheet they show you the best optimal run could be it could be like triple coin triple coin box and they see you can see like the the amount of um, the action you can get and the more higher you get or the perfect run it's it's based on to like a scale of zero percent to 100 percent and this tour the total of the 32 track combined i did get 90 percent of complete so that's a lot my total projection was a million and three hundred thousand as a scoring potential which is very a lot and this tool we got since we got 90 percent mushroom legacy have a new high score which i think into the cat tour it was one million one hundred and forty and now we have 1.203 so that's a big improvement by 60k so that's my highest highest score right now um, into after nine months of playing the game so that's quite good so um, let's see so we have Fire Rosa into Parent Plant Side 23k Sky Garden T35 and Shoko is like 2T with 29 so that's my first cups Moving on to 108,000 uh, for the Mika. Uh, I have this coin Bolak still at level 4 with 37,000. Uh, Yoshi Circuit with a Boomerang, we got 40k. Kokoro Mall, 30k. So very nice with Rosa Chef. We got next is my uh, this week ranking uh we're still in first place so that's quite nice we have uh 18 000 for fire rosa into the ghost valley one rt print up plant slide t one of the track where i got the 279 action but this, this run was not that one because i i finished second or third into that amazing run but still 56 000 so this is one of the best score into my account as this where we are talking to this video so this is one of the best score i made which is a new high score 56,000, which is quite nice one day we're gonna get 60k i believe and uh mars circuit 2rt 20k for this one with a cat suit 
Okay, so moving on into the other cup, 91,000 here into the Lucky Cup. Capiche, very good run with 25k. Bowser Castle, this is a good example where I use middle shift with Cat Rosalina. I do have Kamek, I do have other drivers, but since we play with only princesses, this is not allowed. So this is mid shelf. Right now, uh, this tour we did not get any buff into a new uh, driver like Rosa Chef get this track so this is gonna be a wait and see but as for now we can not play with me at top shelf so we go for that one so that was 19,000 and Kokoro Mall R another boom, ba, ba, boom box track with 46k so a very good run next up we have whoops not this one hi Craig uh, this is the Mario Cups with Pinch Winter Time. Could be a way better score, but this track is very difficult. Uh, so 25k. Final Plan Slide R, that's a perfect, perfect 100% track complete with 42,000. Um, I did 210 actions. So I was really proud of myself because I really hate that track. Um, but yeah, uh, Rainbow Road 1T, one uh, one, one very good run again. Amazing triple friends run 31,000 there. That was a very 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 good run Next up I have the uh, Bowser Cup. This is where we used Peach Explorer uh, 29,000 for vanilla like one good run can we desert 21,000 again and Shoko is lane 2 where we use I don't win or if we don't use her that much, but at some point she's gonna get some level with time, so that's uh, 28,000 for her, 76,000 for Donkey Kong Cup. So we have Warrior Shipyard where Cat uh, Suit is there, but also that could be a Peach Yukata track at level 3. So I just need to make one ticker to make her uh, to go to this track, but this one I did not invest at uh, Peach Yukata at all. So 21,000 for this one, uh, Kokoro Mall T. Good run with uh, 30k with your new cards on that one, which is nice. Pyramid Plant Slide regular, uh, that was 25k, so this is 2k better than my week one track. Moving on to, did I get, uh, oh, there we go, 122.2, very good score. Bowser Castle T, uh, that was just one coin frenzy, uh, maybe I would try to. Last minute, try to get a run here, but 41,000, very good run. Uh, I think that was like my f one uh, first run, so that was very good. Rainbow Road 1, which is another first run as well, 39k, that was amazing. Sky Gunner R, another boombox with 41,000, so very good cup here. Uh, 106 with uh, Toad Cups, uh, we have Shoko Island 2R, which Tanuki Track had the track. Uh, with 26k, Wire Shipyard T with Peach Happy with 40k, so a very good run. That was, I think, 177 action, so that was very good. Premium Plan Slide R, so that was another, I think I would say like 96%. Um, that one I placed second place, but 40k, that was beautiful. With Ty Daisy. Moving on to 105k. Uh, this is a multi more cup. We have Bowser Castle with 39k with uh, Teruki. Very difficult track to do. Uh, this one you absolutely need double coin or more. Sky Gunner with another boombox track. So a lot of boomboxing. So 43k with Valondam. And we have one track where one day this TIDZ will get at level 8. Otherwise, I don't have any top shelf for this track. So that would be a triple level 8 if I get there uh, but 22k with just tie DZ at mid shelf because I have nothing else 116 for the DZ cup uh, we have 3ds printer plus slide T so this is actually the best score uh, by 400 plus so this is my best attempts uh, Yoshi circuit T 32k we're pretty good with Daisy we use that super there and she's getting closer to level 8, which is nice. Why should be an R with 27 Tazza with Peach Explorer? So, this tour, Peach Explorer got a lot of love, and that's one driver I really want to focus really soon. 112k, so a lot of higher than 
uh, 100k here the, this toy which is was amazing so we have Rosanna Chef uh, with Rainbow Road 1R so very nice track for 20, uh, 34k Vanilla Lake uh, 1T Wish Peach Dr. Peach keep that track uh, she did lose Coconut Mall because of Ty Daisy and Rosanna Chef this toy so that was a bit sad in my heart but uh, regardless we get still used uh, Dr. Peach in this one and Academy Desert T, beautiful track uh, that was, I grind a lot onto this one and very good right with double coin box for 42k, so that was excellent. So now we're gonna look into my um, driver, the one investment, Mushroom Legacy made this tour. This tour we did a lot of investment, so um, like I said, uh, this Daisy is getting closer to level 7 and 8, so she's at 6. Um, so what did you what did I actually increase and what item I did get? Let's see here um, So fire was still the same pitch up is the same Dr. P is the same so first investment we made was this one for ranking um, We got it a couple of tours ago. I think one or two tours ago uh, She need to be double cap. So let's see if next tour into the ocean too she would be used a lot there or not uh, but that's my plan to double cap her she is uh, and I made her to level 4 to level 6 so now she just needs to be double cap and she, for now she's gonna be done and I can work into another drivers so that's one of the investment this investment was a very late investment I would say like to uh, a last push decision which is ready payoff that give me at least 20k or 30k when I decided to make this last push or this last investment. Uh, I made her level 4 to level 5, so I just put two tickets in. Uh, she's already the double cap from the Bangkok tour, so um, so this is definitely a, a driver where next tour I'm gonna invest just my ticket except if the new daisy have an amazing skin and she used a lot otherwise this one she's i just want to finish her and just invest into something else so level six double cap that's my standard now except if i really love a driver like way too much but right now she's going to be the focus next door finish her and moving on so both of two, at least both of the two drivers, Rosa Chef and Titus, it would be six double cap, which is very good for my account. So that's the two major investment I made this tour. And we got, like I mentioned, we got the Pin uh, Plant B racing suit. And also we got a uh, PT Pirina. Um, that was not expect uh, that was not something I want to pull. But I made a video with David Games if you want to watch it. Um, uh, we pull it for this one and we got amazing luck Better luck than what I pulled for mushroom legacy, but that was not supposed to happen But at the end I'm very glad I did because I got something which I really enjoyed this tour And I think that would be one of my favorite items of all time just saying and I was not supposed to to be that way so going on cards uh, Which investment or new thing I got let's see Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, so first investment was this one. Um, I don't know if I regret it or not. This store I used it maybe like two or three times. Uh, this car was not a car where it was super very, very valuable to my accounts uh, when we saw with Intellev and Stadfit. Um, but this one was into double feature, which means she was used into Skygarden T and uh, that was used into the Shoko Island. So for both ranking, before I pulled for PD, I decided to invest into this one. So I make this one to level one to four. So I invest four tickets into this. I don't really regret it because that kind of helped me into the, the decision I made and I single cap this card. So overall, good decision. I don't think I'm gonna moving on more than four but still nice to have. But for ranking purposes, when you have a couple double feature and use a driver a lot, it's always a good idea to invest into those drivers if you're just using them. 
So this is the reason why everything shifts around this card. Uh, this card we pull it just before PD as a surprise. So week one pull into no, no this one was a week two pull. So I never pulled into week two. Got it in week one. Super lucky. I already uh, made it to a double cap and level six. So this is all my tickets did go for my card. I could make it like, I'm really tempting to make it level seven and triple cap because I'm really loving this card. The bigger reason I love it is the coverage. Um, Piano Plan Slide T, I needed a card for my ranking and I did pull for, um, I think the Piano, the, the, the one where PD got, but this one I have it at level one. So that was a great buff. So that's a good buff for me. Pinup Plan Slide R was not great because Yellow Frodo is there. Coconut Mall was an upgrade, so that was better than level 3. Sky Garden was an upgrade. Bowser Castle R, it's no use for me, but one of the Rainbow Road was used. So that's an upgrade. And Sky Garden T, this is the big reason why I make it to level 6, is because of that Sky Garden T. And if I made it to level 8, I had the Coconut Mall, which I have no cards. So in general, this card is just phenomenal for me in my account i'm ready to think to make it level eight now just because of the coconut mall um just because i would get a, a new track and new coverage for that track since i have already tie dz and i have the rosa chef in there with a good glider so that could be a potential for me in the future but so far i like the starting coverage with the two sky garden and the two panel blend slide and the coconut the two coconut mall so very good items at the start and that's the big reason why I invest so heavily to this one. So that was my big, big improve this one. And I got this Aperna uh, pipes as my second option, but into this one, uh, if I didn't have the other one, I was planning to make this one, I think level six, but this one would give me like more circuit two RT, which is not great. But my Pinup Plan Slide would be a little bit better, but level 8 for Pinup Plan Slide T, which is not the greatest. So that was the big reason for this, but overall I'm really happy how we, it did end. And for gliders, what did we get as new items? So we get the Star Sp Spingle glider from the Premium Chal uh, Premium. Uh, we got the 8-bit Fire Flower, which is going to be one of the upgrades I'm going to do. Eventually, uh, this is a good glider with a lot of uh, potential into track. Uh, amazing pull with Puffy and Larry. Last 10th pull, we got this one and I make it level 6 and I use it for Sky Gun. And this, this 8 bit is so, so good. And I did not decide to make it double cap yet, but I could. But if I can, if I would use it again, I would definitely double cap this one. So this one is on the radar but very good investment. So that was one level six. So that's a lot of my tickets just for that. And the other big investment I made is another mushroom uh, glider. So because mushroom legacy. Uh, so this one is the one up level six double cap already day one. Uh, but yeah, I think this one gonna be go level seven and maybe sneaking into level eight. I don't know, but this one is gonna be uh, something I would really enjoy and doesn't matter the coverage it's just going because of the look and we got the secret scroll so that was a very very good looking into uh, the next tour well we don't have any more uh, tickets so I did started this tour with probably like 14 to 15 on both side for carding lighter I was collecting them for a couple for a couple tour now and I just decided to just go all in because those two items help a lot my account. So for those reasons, this is where we goes. And next up, we're gonna have, uh, with the, if I win, I'm gonna have 10 high-end driver tickets to invest, so that's quite nice. And that's all the uh, review for um, I made into this tour. So if, like I said, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to uh, likes, comments, and subscribe hopefully we're gonna get the badge maybe we did maybe we don't we're gonna see in the future in a couple of days but on that thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the uh, the episode and see you next time bye y'all